Hey, it's Fern, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how your dog's behavior can differ on leash and off leash. All right, today's question comes from Andrea, and she says, why do you think many dogs behave differently on leash versus off leash? Okay, great question. And this is something that I see quite often is a dog will behave very differently, particularly towards other dogs, depending upon they're on the leash and off the leash. And why this happens, it really depends upon the situation and the dog's uh, motivation. Um, but the thing to remember is once it's unnatural for dogs to be tethered, to be tied to us. They can't do the things that dogs normally do. You know, dogs don't want to walk in a direct straight line right next to us. No, that's not, it goes, it's unnatural. It goes against everything dog. They want to be following their nose, wiggling around, going all over the place. Particularly when we meet other dogs, you know, two, if you watch two healthy dogs, two friendly dogs meet off leash, they never go right at each other like, like we do on a sidewalk. In fact, if you ask me how to get two dogs to fight, I would do this with them make them make direct eye contact with another and move directly into each other's personal space. That's what we force them to do on walks. It's setting them up to fail. I hate dogs coming together like this. Two dogs, who they're, they're like this when they meet off leash and then they kind of maybe sniff some butts. You know, they never do that direct line. So right there, we're forcing them to do something unnatural. Okay, also we've, we're, they're tied to us. So let's say you have a dog with some anxieties who's not quite comfortable maybe with other dogs or with other people or about being in the outdoor environment and here comes another dog or a person or whatever the stimulus is towards them but they're tied to you. So we've all heard of the two responses that are, are normal for, for dogs and other living things is fight or flight. So here comes a dog, something into the dog's bubble of space encroaching on its comfort level. They're tied to us. So we've eliminated flight, they can't flee. That leaves them one choice. If they want that space back, they have to take it assertively. So that's where you see a lot of dogs grumpy on leash because they, they can't get their space. And if you just unhook them from the leash, they would just move backwards and be able to get their space and act normally, act like a dog. Um, so it's very common to see, I mean, I work with dogs who will be in a daycare running around playing with a dog and then go on leash and then react to the same dog out on leash because we've inhibited their behavior. They can't act like normal dogs. We're forcing them to act the way we want them to act, to walk the way we want. And that is, goes against the natural canine order, the, the way they do things. So that's why it happens. So when you see that there's some sensitivity on leash, we have to determine what the trigger is. When did it go wrong? Is it, is it people? Is it dogs? What is it? And then we need to work in that specific situation. So if there's a problem with other dogs on leash, it doesn't matter if I work with them off leash because there's no problem there. It's very situational. So I got to work with them in a controlled setting and change what normally happens on leash. For dog-dog stuff, it's just walking them together. Don't have them do this. Walk them together. Make them a unit. And then let them sniff some butts. All right, I hope that helps. If you like this and would like some more tips, I'd love to send you my newsletter. You can sign up somewhere on this page. I'm also going to send you my free guide, The 10 Quick and Simple Ways for a Better and Happier Dog. I'd love to send that stuff to you, so sign up and you'll get it all for free. All right, until the next video, enjoy the day with your dog.